Good evening. Welcome to Sacred Enzyme. I'm Stacy. I hope you've had a great day today. This is unusual for me to be doing a video in the evening because you know I'm a morning person. But I had to come back and talk about these stargates because you know stuff has just been coming to me about this stuff and I got to share it because I think that it's fascinating because most of you people that are whoa ghosts come on now most of you people that are watching my channel you're already kind of in the same time uh, I mean space with me about the things that you know the way that you, you know you've been evolved in your spirituality for a while and there's other things that really when you come across a morsel of it it ties things together and you're like oh that makes so much sense now well, one of the things you know I've been on about is my when my grandmother passed away, she came and told me that stole, souls were being harvested. Well, that we were being harvested, that souls were, were chained to the earth. Okay, and so it just seems like this thread is just keeps unraveling and unraveling. Okay, so get this. I kept thinking, you know, these stargates, these stargates, these stargates. What is this thing so important with the stargates? I mean, I can understand that it's like the only highway going in and out for us to get to, like, the galaxy Andromeda. And if you're an Andromedan person and you're this a being that's billions of years old because you're a creator being. And, you know, you've got to pass through here. It kind of be pretty inconvenient if the United, you know, the United States is hosting many places that are uh, stargate places you know locations arc sites like the same thing in the uk and russia they're all over the world so you know they say that we're born in and out of these stargates so if we die we must be going in and out of the same stargates right yes okay i see y'all's light bulb just came on you think what i'm thinking is there's that's where they're harvesting the souls at they're catching them at the stargates because you have to go through one of these stargates to get out of here when you die right so it totally makes sense now it is about stargates that's why they want to control the stargates because they can trick all of the souls and they can block them inside of this firmament because if they won't let you through where are you going to go right you're going to be stuck here right see this is exactly what it's about so we do really have to learn about these stargates we have to learn about what and you know what most of the people that i know live by these stargates in whatever country that they're living in they actually automatically i think your cell knows that you need to be by the stargate because you're doing this work when you're asleep right because when we're sleeping we're astral traveling you know, that's why we have to sleep, just like every animal has to sleep. Oh, and you know the other thing that dawned on me today? You know, if like bugs and birds and dogs and all these things, they're a smaller version of their larger counterpart, right? And all of these seeding, these races that seeded us are a larger version of all these animals and things that we have on the earth. The original species, right? Like wolves, dogs, lions, things like that, cats. You know, uh, dolphins, they were fish people. Those were the ones that uh, that are the Anunnaki. And also, Atlantis was also fish people. But, see, what happened was these Atlantean people, their bloodline got contaminated, their DNA got contaminated with inner species. And that's what happened to them. So that they were infiltrated from the inside. And that's exactly what happened. So you had, this is in Atlantis, Atlantis fell because they were trying to destroy Lemuria. So they fell into a phantom matrix. So if uh, we start seeing a lot of stuff about Atlantis, that's because the whole planet is going to shift on its axis probably. Because if we start seeing Atlantis, that means it's coming out of the phantom matrix. Or either that we're raising the vibration on the planet because everybody collectively is putting their thoughts together. See, that's what happens. See, that's how the phantom matrix is going to get eliminated. Like hell. It truly, all of these demonic type Luciferian things that are happening, we can eliminate them if everybody can bring up the vibration by doing this work. See, this is what it's all about. This is why it's taking, it's going to be so many star seeds here to do this work. Because the vibration has to be brought up on the whole planet in order to get, all these people have to ascend this time around. You know, this is the end of the cycle. 
So at the end of this cycle, all these people have to be able to be ascended out of the phantom matrix. Does that make sense? Right, it's interesting and it's really deep stuff to think about. I mean, it is a lot of stuff. You really gotta sit and think about it and everybody will think you're crazy. Everybody in my house thinks that I have absolutely lost my mind. You know, not too many people study chelonic science in quantum physics. So when you start talking about this stuff, they think that you're batshit crazy. So, you know, it is what it is. It's not something I'm making up. This is all stuff I'm studying. And, you know, there's millions of people that are reading this, that are, you know, participating in this. So, you know, we all can't be massively crazy. I'm not living on the street somewhere, you know, high on drugs all day, you know. So, I mean, what can you say? You know, it's just the stuff comes to you. And then when you start doing the seals and stuff. And uh, I've got, I had my class today with um, my teacher. And so I got a lot of interesting stuff that I'm going to read on tonight. And uh, if I can get all through it, then we'll talk about that tomorrow. Because I really do want to start us on the seals. And I've got one really good one that we're definitely going to do in the morning. And we're also going to talk about the morning mantra because there's mantras that you do in the morning and every night and you have to do them. And it's not just because you're saying stuff, but this is true quantum physics and this is how all of this Kelonic science works. All this stuff that's gonna sound like so stupid and outrageous and how could you be so silly for saying these words like this, you know, cause it sounds crazy and you'll see these people that are translating this light language and they look absolutely like Fruit Loops. And I'm thinking, you know, part of me thinks this just can't be real. This seriously can't be real. But you know what? It really is. It's all these signs and these vibration sounds and these fire letters. And then these seals, these sigils. This is why all the archangels have sigils. They're like psych psychologically, subconsciously digested. And it, it affects your DNA. And I have seen some studies where, you know, the Monroe Institute and the CIA were doing some stuff and they declassified some stuff. And they had codes like 55515, I think was the code that you used when you had physical pain. That you could meditate on that number, 55515, and you could get your back to stop hurting. No shit, folks. I mean, this stuff is real. There's all kind of stuff that's on the CIA website that's declassified. You can type in its search word and it'll blow your freaking mind some of the stuff they got in their archives. I mean, these blood studies that they were doing on RH negative people. Let me tell you what they were doing. I'm going to just make this short and add it to the end and then we're going to go. Because, you know, I know everybody's got shit to do. So, they were actually, and this freaks me out because my brother was RH negative and somebody got his corneas. And I already told you guys that. They were transplanting corneas into people that were A and B negative, uh, A and B blood types, okay? Then they were also transplanting RH negative corneas into others that are O and RH negative, right? And then they were testing all the antigens and aptogens and everything to see if by giving those corneas to those opposite blood types, if it would change anything in the blood and in the body and make it more RH negative. And guess what? It did make changes. So what is up with that? One, why are they even studying that? What's the reason behind that? And two, what is so special about this RH negative blood? I'm gonna find out because a lot of us have it that are in this line of work. It has something to do with something. And the last thing, if you guys wanna watch something on TV, I don't watch TV a lot, I watch YouTube. I don't watch much TV or you, um, movies or anything, but there is a series in my, in my uh, best buddy that is the acupuncturist that we're gonna that we're doing this work together we're starting this whole thing to start healing the planet from the bottom up in layman's terms too none of this fancy high fluting shit 
we're being real here because we want everybody to know this information and be able to use it and it not be complicated and twisted because a lot of people can't even sit still for five minutes anymore because their body's so toxed out. So we want to do this in all layman's terms. And then I forgot my train of thought that I was on uh, because I have so many marbles running around. Okay, my friend that's doing this holistic work with me you know, uh, I honestly think that we're from the same place. But, you know, we're all, all of us come from these bloodlines. And there's something about these bloodlines. But she got me turned on to this movie on Netflix. And it's like a 10 parts and it's a series, but it's called Messiah. It's not new, but it was new to me because I don't ever watch Netflix. Go on there and watch it. But keep this in mind when you watch it. There's a guy on there named A.V. I think that this is Archangel Michael. And I think this represents his story. And then there's the Messiah, which obviously is Jesus. And then the Divine Mother. You're only going to watch 10, but I want to hear what you guys say after you watch it, if you agree with me. The Divine Mother is the one uh, other American agent, and her name is Eva. E-V-A. We know that Eve... Uh, her name was Eva, a hundred different ways, right? Mary, everything. They're, they're using Eva. She's going to be the Divine Mother. Okay, she ends up sleeping with the other CIA agent, and you can follow the whole story up to it, but it's very similar to, we talked about the, the guy from the Knights Templar, the big shit from the Knights Templar, how he said that Mary was married to John the Baptist, that so he died, she married Jesus, she had kids with both, okay? All right, so maybe they just assumed that she had kids with both, but maybe she only had children with Jesus. This is why she's the Holy Grail, and besides, she was one of these virgin whores. And whore didn't mean a bad word back then. They just made it a bad word. But if you were able to be one of these temple priestesses like Mary was, you remember she was raised up in the temple and so was her mom, well, the reason they were raised up in the temple was because they came from RH negative bloodlines and they were called Benjaminites. She was a Benjaminite. She came from a family of Benjaminites. They talk about uh, the Benjaminites in the Bible and different things, but not usually in a uh, positive light. You know how they talked about Mary, right? They smeared her. So, I mean, pretty much all of these characters that's in, uh, in the Bible that are Benjaminites, they have shitty stories, but you know who writes the stories, right? We only get parts of the truth. We get kernels of truth. So, uh, she was a Benjaminite. So, this show, it, it plays out like all kind of ways, but just keep in mind that RH, that uh, she must have RH bloodline, uh, Eva, and that she's going to have twins. I predict it. I'm going to predict it that she's going to she's going to get she got she's going to get pregnant by the archangel Michael in the human body because he does like all kind of stuff. And you know what? We know archangel Michael's job isn't easy. He's the he's the protector of humans. So, you know, there's going to be times when you have to do something that's not always great, but it has to be done. And then you can pay attention to all of the dialogue and it'll blow your mind. So I do think that all these archangels or seed races, seed beings, these 12 tribes, I think there were 12 archangels or 12 uh, different beings that contributed their DNA because they said that they took it from 12 different groups, the DNA pattern to put in the, the angelic human that was being seeded on earth, right? And this was their experiment. Okay, let's think about it like this was their experiment. So then they all started watching their experiment remember the watchers they were all watching their experiment because they were proud of it just like you're proud of your children right you're proud of it because that's part of you right so all 12 of these beings they were watching their creation their creation because god gave them permission to do this all came from source they were following all the rules well then you know these humans, they got they got dis destroyed two different times because these they had all these wars that were going on in the galaxies, and you had this reptilian being that uh, had I, I don't know how they got bad to, to start with. I mean, I still haven't learned quite that yet, 
but for some reason they were invading all of these other planets and they were destroying civilizations and so you know that's why they wanted they were fallen so we have to figure out who this reptilian race is this is a lucifer rebellion is a satan or what in what race of these uh you know so i have to figure that out and where exactly they came from but um you had all of these angels and I think they all fell. I think they all came in a human form down here so they could experience physicality because they couldn't without a body. So they gave them a vagal nerve, which probably was really highly charged back then because they were indulging in all the pleasures, right? They were eating, they were having sex, they were doing all kind of stuff. They were doing, creating all these, building all this stuff, you know, just creating all kind of stuff because they were all connected to source. They're still divinely inspired because they all had a bicameral mind, right? Well, then some of them decided they didn't want to go back. They liked it here, but it was time to go back and they didn't want to go back, but all of them fell. And I think that they all, almost all of them fathered children. They followed, they fathered children and that these children were the Nephilim. But I also think that they came back a second time and did the same thing. And I think all of them did it. And I think that potentially Archangel Michael's group, and we have to figure out where he comes from, what constellation and all that. Because, you know, Macaventa, there is a Macaventa that lives in inner earth. And it's a Macaventa, the, the Holy Father Macaventa. And then there's a, uh, and then uh, there, Machizel deck, excuse me. There's a Macaventa Machizel deck. I think that's Archangel Michael, and I think he lives in the inner earth, and, and I think the reason he does is because he has to protect us, because we really need protection, right? But I also think that Archangel Michael had his go around on this planet, too, and, you know, it's probably why he's so connected to some of us. You know, a lot of us are very connected to Archangel Michael, and I was, like, really disappointed when I thought that he had failed but guess you know what they all did they all made a mistake and they all fell because they fell in love with their creation plain and simple plain and simple the ones that didn't want to go back they got all ugly because they're stuck in these in a phantom matrix they created it because they don't want to go back they had to sever you know or they had to like completely become organic matter to be able to not be forced to go back to source. They want to disconnect themselves with source because they want to stay here. But the thing of it is, is that they can't stay here without energy. So they take ours. This is why they harvest our energy. This is why we have wars and all this stuff. This is all of this stuff is contrived by them. They motivate, uh, they manipulate people. They have things going on in our governments all over the world because they want to stay here. It's plain and simple. They're in the pleasure principle. But I think that one of the things is this time is, is that if we can raise a vibration, they just kind of go bye-bye. They can't stay here because the vibration's too high. Just like they can't stay here because their vibration's too high for our planet. And it's the reason that they're visiting us more is because we're bringing up the vibration of the planet. It's like a heartbeat. It's a light and vibration. And when it's in the higher realms, it's like a hummingbird wings. They go so fast, it's like helicopter blades. Like a lot of people, they can't be in the military and fly helicopters because it creates like a strobe type effect. A lot of people that are strobe sensitive have RH bloodlines because I was diagnosed with epilepsy in 2008. And I had seizures for a long time. But you know, I can't be around strobe lights and things like that because it affects me. There's also a girl in there that he, that Jesus has selected. And I don't know who she is yet. And I'd love to know what who you think she is. But she has epilepsy too. And I thought, that's really weird. You know, my aunt had epilepsy. And, and my great aunt had epilepsy. And there are a lot of people in my family that had seizures. And I thought, that's really strange. But there's something to it. It has something to do with... <laughs> I have to excuse my husband. There has something to do with the vagal nerve. So anyway, I am going to end this video, but I want you to watch a Messiah because I think that all of them, you know, some of them went back, some of them ascended back, and some of them are still here. And so if they divided themselves up 144,000 times, then, you know, there's people that are doing this host matrix work too. 
And that's another interesting thing to think about. So with that, it's been 19 minutes. So when you come and find me, I'll be here because we're living in the past, present, and the future all at the same time. And there is not another channel on YouTube when you can just get real life like this. You can get people singing in the background, belching, snoring dogs. I mean, this is as real as it gets. No filters. You know, just as you are. We just love it, everybody, as we are. <laughs> so I hope that you guys got outside today. I hope you had a wonderful day and you enjoyed the weather and that you gave thanks to our Heavenly Father and our Divine Mother, Mother Earth. And I'm going to be up bright and early tomorrow. And we are going to learn our first lesson in bringing up these seals and sealing ourselves off. And the first one we're going to do is going to be a way that helps repel EMF and purge it out of your body. And it's quite simple. And there's no doubt if you're watching the channel, you can do it just like that. So anyway, I will catch you in the morning. And I hope you have a good night. Thanks for watching Sacred Enzyme. Bye-bye.